Hi everybody, I'm Claire Moskal. I'm an art director and graphic designer. Today we are in my house and I'm going to be talking to you about hanging art in a shared family space. Okay, so behind me we have the main area that we're going to be hanging pieces in. You see cat for scale, it's pretty big. And then it has this shorter piece over here. Uh, I thought what would be really cool would be to have my main gallery wall on this wall and what are you doing? The main gallery wall on this wall. And then to sort of extend it and wrap it around to this wall and to put one piece over here and make the gallery wall feel like it envelops the whole area. A bit of a closer look at the pieces themselves. I like this one a lot because there was just some nice color blocking and it's a bit of like a calming place for your eye to go. The brush quality and the stroke quality in this piece is really nice and it reminded me of more handmade kid art. So I thought this would be a nice way to bring in some of that playfulness into the space as well. Uh, I also like that it's just a lady looking really tired, which is honestly how I feel a lot of the time <laughs> as a mom to a toddler. I got the two cherry frames because I wanted to put one of each of them on either side of this larger L-shaped room to tie the space together. And the rest of the frames being white, I thought it was like a nice quiet moment in between these two cherry ones. This little guy here is an unframed piece. It's a original uh, painting on canvas done by my friend Jess. And I thought it would be a nice uh, contrast to have this unframed piece next to all these frames just for a little bit of variety. This is the only one with a mat. I thought because this was a photo, giving it some breathing room between the frame and the piece just felt nice. Uh, and I like the deep blue color that I think is a nice way to interject some fun and color into this. I'm a big, if you can't tell, a big neutral lover. Um, and so this is the amount of color that I feel comfortable with in a living space. Okay, so I had picked all of my pieces out and on the Framebridge website, once you upload a photo of the art you want framed, you get a little preview. Take the preview from the Framebridge website, put it into Keynote or PowerPoint and move things around and get a visual of what it's gonna look like beforehand. And then we get to hang the frames. That came out super well. I'm really glad that I planned ahead. Okay, and on the other side of the room, you can see this guy. You can see this wall from the dining room and having those similar frames is just a nice way to sort of cap, cap the room uh, and tie the two spaces together. Pick pieces that you love, pieces obviously that fit with your decor and your taste. Um, but I think it's a really great idea to rely on stuff that is fun, energetic feeling. If you're gonna pick pieces that uh, have some color in them, tying to the frames together with a similar color story, in this case, white and cherry, is a really great idea. Um, and it makes picking sort of more like fun pieces fit with the rest of the decor that you have going on. So my top tips and thanks for watching. Bye.